Hi everybody, it's Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards and it is Sunday afternoon or early evening and I'm just here to show a few things that I made over the weekend. Um, I got a new Sizzix snowman die. It's a design from Basic Gray and I made this shabby chic little snowman. Let me get a piece of paper to put in here so they're easier to see. I'm gonna slip a piece of paper underneath this. Here we go. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so there's actually two different snowmen in this die, in the Sizzix die. And so I made some baby snowmen and then some slightly bigger ones. And I still haven't quite decided what to do with the eyes. I used some charcoal pencil on some of them. Um, so you can kind of see their smiley face. But I think I might put gems over the eyes or something. I just haven't quite decided, found what I like yet. Or I might just put paper behind them. Um, but anyway, so those are the start of those. And th these are just little um, hang tags that you could use on a gift. And they have, they're each holding a little wire um, candy cane. And that's a little bag of wire candy canes that I found at the thrift store. Um, so, and this is again using that paper from Arala Mija shop on Etsy. So I made those, um, and I actually made some bigger ones too that have mittens and stuff, but I gave them as a gift already, and I have a picture of them, but I didn't do a video. So I'll have to make some more so I can show them in a video, but anyway, and then I finished this set of trees. So these are my tree tags again, um, and then they have a to and from on the back. And I made about seven of those, so I have a whole pile full of these tags. And I use um, seam binding up here. This is red seam binding. I just buy a huge big roll of it every year for Christmas and um, to make all my tags. And then some little brown twine uh, little tags that are also edged in brown ink. And then this is a mercury glitter um, by Stickles. And I just put that on and let it dry. And then this is again that peaceful pine cone stamp set from uh, Paper Tray Ink. And then the um, paper is from Amuse Studio and it has the Twas the Night Before Christmas story on it. So there's a whole set of tags. And I'll set those aside. Um, and then I made a whole set of these tags which feature that reindeer that I showed you the other day and this is how the tags turned out. This background die with the little scallops on it is from Cheery Lynn Designs and they just did a new release the other day with um, more of these typed of scallop dies in it and uh, if you use your cutting plate with your regular sandwich um, and maybe even an extra piece of cardstock, it does cut out all the little details and you just shake it and they all fall out. So if you die cut it just right, you don't have to do any poking, which I really like. So this one cuts really good. And, um, and then I just used the gingam paper that is a digital file. I edged it with some dark brown ink. Um, I made this snow, uh, sorry, reindeer paper. I think I told you guys about that in a prior video. And so these are actually, I don't know if you can tell, but the reindeer themselves I cut out of old cereal boxes and just different cardboard boxes I was getting rid of. And then I put the paper on top to give the reindeer more stability because their legs are really thin and it really helps you with the design if um, you back them with chipboard. So that's what I did here. And then with the tag up at the top, I just put some foam uh, underneath it to raise it up a little bit. And then I also added just a touch of mercury stickles to his hoofs and his tail and facial area. So, And then the little scarf I just made with some felt. So I made about seven of these. Uh, the other six are upstairs drying. This is the only one that was dry, so I brought it down. And then um, I also made this set of tags. And these are again with that gingerbread man die. I showed you the die that I ordered off of eBay the other day. And um, these ones are using that same Cherry Lynn Designs tag die. And uh, 
the silver tag die. These are both from Cherryland Designs, the two backgrounds that I created the tag with. And then this is a Sizzix die I ordered off of eBay. I just love this gingerbread man. And the little white that you see, this is white ink edging him, but this is a chalk pencil and it's an art chalk pencil that you need, you need to get it at a good art supply store. Um, they might have them like at, at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or something, but it, get it in the art section. And it's a white chalk, um, chalk art pencil. And um, that's what I use to make the white markings on the gingerbread man. And then this is also just um, a little pink pencil. So, and then the scarf again is just made with a, a hand cut piece of felt. And then you just cut the little fringes into it. And the Merry Christmas sentiment and that little tag is a paper tray ink supply. So, um, so I made a bunch of these and, you know, most of them actually do not have glitter this time, but here is one that does. And this one has a mixture of, I think it stickles with some Ranger, um, white glitter over the top. One of the distress, uh, glitters. So... I think it might be rock candy or something. But anyway, so that one has glitter around the edge, but the majority of the tags just are just what I showed you. They're very basic. And I think I did one that has red glitter. And this one I did the gingerbread man straight on instead of at an angle. Um, this was the very first one I made. And I actually, when I, when I did the second one, I decided to tilt him because I just thought it looked a little more festive. So on the, the rest of them, He's tilted at an angle, and then the Merry Christmas is sticking out at an angle, too. So that kind of gives you an idea. So there's a whole pile of those. And again, you guys know I do tags for gifts at Christmas time for my family, and I give them to them. I give them to my, I'm going to give them to my brothers and sisters on Thanksgiving. So that's my uh, two and a half hour weekend tag extravaganza. Some of the pieces I started last weekend, but this weekend I spent a couple hours putting them all together. And then uh, I also picked up these bells for $1.50 at the thrift store. I'm always on the lookout for any types of Christmas items that I can get. So these ones have a nice jingle. And then I also scored uh, this paper, which is 50 sheets of 105 pound antique gold cover stock. So this is a, an entire ream of um, really nice gold glimmer or shimmer paper. So I'll be able to use that to make some Christmas tags too. And it was only $4.50, which this paper is probably worth about $30 if you were to get it at like Paper Zone or which is closed up here in Seattle. We don't have them anymore. But we used to be able to go and buy this type of paper at a store that was not too far from my home. So I was very excited to get this for $4.50. That was an incredible find. And then I have a couple more cards to show you. I don't think I showed this one yet. This is one using inlaid die cuts. But just in case I did, this was the other one I made. Now, I had a whole bunch of these pieces left over from cutting out this tag piece out of the gingham. So I took the leftover piece and I made a card with it. And I cut a red ticket to insert into the center of this piece and I um, used an impression uh, plate on it with snowflakes. And then I did another one of my little snowmen. And this one, the eyes are filled in with some mercury glass stickles. And then it just says Merry and Bright. And the little scarf on this one is made with some ribbon, some checked Christmas ribbon that I had in my stash. So that is it for tonight. Um, thanks for taking a look at everything. And um, I will be back with some another video very shortly. Have a good night. Bye-bye. And that's Timmy ringing the bells for you. <laughs> Merry Christmas early. <laughs> Bye.